I want a public example made of him. Mr. Pulitzer, the boy, Jack Kelly, is here. He's here? Just outside. He's asked to see you. <laughs> Ask, and ye shall be received. Mr. Snyder, if you please. Sit. Mr. Jack Kelly. Hi. Good afternoon, boys. And which Jack Kelly is this? The charismatic union organizer or the petty thief and escaped convict? Which one gives us more in common, huh? <laughs> Impudence is in bad taste when crawling for mercy. Yes. My daughter. You're probably asking, why the nom de plume? Why doesn't my daughter work for me? Good questions. I offered Catherine a life of wealth and leisure. Instead, she chose to pursue a career. And she was showing real promise until this recent lapse. But you're done with all of that now, aren't you, sweetheart? Jack, no. I didn't mean to. Don't trouble the boy with your problems, dearest. Mr. Kelly has a plate full of his own. Wouldn't you say so, Mr. Snyder? Hello, Jack. <laughs> Does anyone else feel a noose tightening? <laughs> I cannot put the price back where it was. I'm sorry, I can't. There are other considerations. Oh, I get it, I get it. Joe, you, you need to save face in front of all these other folks. I'm young, I ain't stupid. Thank you for understanding. But I got constituents with a legitimate gripe. What if I reduce the raise by half and get the others to do the same? It's a compromise we can all live with. But you eat our losses, huh? From now on, any paper we can't sell, you buy back full price. It was never on the table. What's to stop the Newsies from taking hundreds of papers they cannot sell? My cost would explode. Oh, no Newsies gonna break his back hauling around papers he can't sell.